Hey guys, it's that time again. This is the March 2018 Keto Crate and I've had it for a while and I've been really busy so I just kind of want to hop into it. And so let's see what we got. I swear one day guys, one day I'm going to join this crate club party, but not today. <laughs> We have a whole lot of papers, which I'm sure are really neat and everything, but let's get to the good stuff. First, I see this Ultima Replenisher. Um, this is an electrolyte mix. I've actually had some of these before. In my opinion, the flavors aren't really super strong, but A, that's not a bad thing, and B, I mean, they do the job. I mean, it's great electrolytes, but you know what? Y'all know what I'm drinking if I want some electrolytes, right? It's that zip fizz though. But I mean, this is good. I'll definitely use these because they are good to have on hand. Ooh, just the cheese, crunchy toasted cheese. Only one ingredient, wonder what that could be. It's cheese. Um, so great for low carb snacking, mild cheddar. Okay, serving size one container, which is good. And there's less than one gram of carb in this whole thing, hey. I love me a good cheese snack, so this is gonna be great. Number two, kiss my keto chocolate coconut ketogenic bar. You guys, the cookie dough one that was in a previous keto crate, like one of my favorite things I've ever eaten. So I am very, very excited to try this. Like, I don't even know what the ingredients are. I bet these are like Atkins bar slash Choco right. I mean, I bet the ingredients spike your blood sugar. I would love to test these and be wrong because they are so good. Okay, 16 total carbs for the whole bar and three net carbs. Like, oh my gosh. I mean, that cookie dough bar was one of the best things I've ever had. So I expect this to be no different. Who done told them to put an Atkins bar in here? Who done told them? to put the manufacturer of my favorite snack bar, Atkins, in here, but what are these ingredients though? Because literally, the chocolate and peanut butter bar is the only one I've ever found to not contain malsitol or something horrible. So, I mean, there is no malsitol in this, but there's, I mean, there's soluble corn fiber, polydextrose, I mean, palm kernel oil. I mean, just a bunch of weird things. And I see here mixed taco ferals. I mean, this is probably pretty dirty, but I mean, the fact that they got this in the keto crate, that's hilarious to me. Three net carbs per bar, and this is a lemon bar. Like, that is, I just think that's hilarious. Is this ketoned? If that says ketoned, I think that is hilarious. Ketoned ketogenic meal replacement shake instant chocolate fudge brownie. Where are the macros on this thing? I mean, they just have this label right here, but like it's not a true nutrition label, not that I can find, but it does say two and a half grams of net carbs sweetened with stevia. Okay, I mean, can't go wrong with a replacement shake. I generally don't include these as part of my everyday eating, but they're good to have on hand. Gorilla Goods Hillside Pumpkin Seed and Kale activated nut mix. Okay, that's a lot of words there. It's kind of like a nut trail mix. I am not mad at that at all. However, I am a little bit upset at the granulation of the photo on this package. Like, you know, this was gonna be manufactured a ton of times. Why didn't anybody check to see that the photo was clear? But I mean, I digress. This package is three net carbs. Uh, this is kind of right up my alley. If I'm traveling or something like that, I would definitely take these. Curly Girls Candy Sugar Free Coffee, Toffee, and Dark Chocolate. You guys, I have heard so many good things about the Curly Girls brand, like their other toffee or whatever they had that was in the other keto crate before I started getting them. Uh, everyone loved that so much. Yeah, I mean, just the thing is, these, this is a lot of fiber, so... There are 27 total carbs in this whole thing. Once again, there are two servings in here. I'm opening this thing up and eating it all at once. And there are 27 total carbs. 16 of those are fiber and nine of those are sugar alcohol. So for you math majors out there. So there are two grams of net carbs in this whole thing. Like, I bet this would spike the bejesus out of my blood sugar, but I'm probably gonna eat it at least once. Scout Organic Roasted Pumpkin Seeds. Spicy Texas chili. 
Well, I'm on board. Uh, I love pumpkin seeds. They just have a, a little more carbs than I would like, but I will definitely be trying these spicy Texas chili kind, so that's very exciting. For the whole container, it's only four net carbs. That's actually not too bad. I would definitely probably take these to the movies and eat them all in one sitting. Something I've never seen or heard of before, Nugo Slim Brownie Crunch dipped in real dark chocolate. Okay, um, 16 grams of protein, two grams of sugar, seven grams of fiber, five net carbs. Hmm. Okay, well, 19 grams of total carbs. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Yeah, I mean, there's like cane sugar, chocolate liqueur, cane sugar. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm a, I'm a if it fits your macros type person, but like even still five net carbs for this, I don't know if I'm spending it, but hey. The Nutty Gourmet Walnuts, I, I'm just sea salt. Just, this is just a bag of walnuts and I am not upset at all so for this whole container there are four grams of net carbs i mean it's just literally walnuts i'm not mad like i will take me some roasted walnuts cinnamon smart cakes oh my gosh now i love these things like if you see the collab video i did with matt and mega a long time ago i'll put that there that was the first time I've had smart cakes and they were really good. But I'll be completely honest, after I got back home from that visit, I ordered like four cases of smart cakes, like all different flavors. And after a while, the texture starts to get really weird. Like you can put it up to your ear and squeeze and you can like hear it squish. It's very odd. Um, so I ended up not eating all of those, but like I'm glad to have them back in my house. Uh, these will be a welcome treat. Artisanal skinny salamis. Okay, well, I'm also a little upset that the copy is not centered, but you know, I have high standards here. Um, it is just black Angus beef mini salamis. There's one serving per container and it has less than a gram of carbs. Um, once again, not a meat stick person, but like I'm keeping all of this stuff. So maybe I'll try this one day. I'm really gonna put together a meat stick giveaway one, one day, you guys. Like, I just get too many meat sticks that I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna give that to somebody. Comment below if you want a meat stick giveaway. And finally, Porking Goods White Cheddar Pork Rinds. Oh my gosh, White Cheddar Chicharrones. I heard nothing but great things about the Porking Good brand. So White Cheddar, that is really an interesting flavor. I'm excited to try these. This whole container, there are four servings. At most, I'm splitting this into two. For the whole bag, there are 20 grams of fat, there are 32 grams of protein, and zero carbs. I mean, that is just great. Like, I'm excited to try these. Okay guys, that is the keto crate for this month. To be honest, I'm pretty pleased. I'm gonna try these pork rinds. I already know that I love smart cakes. I've been really interested to try this curly girl stuff. Um, nuts i'm only a little iffy about this bar right here like i'm probably gonna eat it but i'm just wondering you know like who are these people but it's okay yes i am very excited about this and then everything else is just good enough do you get a keto crate did you get one this month what did you think of the march 2019 keto crate also, be sure to check out my good friend Aaron, AD Keto's Keto Crate Unboxing, which is right there. And I think that'll do it for this month. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.